and the 16th of November, 2008, the Parkfield Interventional Earthquake Fieldwork was triggered by an artificially reflected between 4,000 and 4,500 seismic events. This art science machine installation was interfaced with the U.S. Geological Survey Earthquake Hazards Seismic Monitoring Network mapping the seismic resonance of the state of California. During this period of 91 days, all micro-earthquakes occurring during this time were physically reflected through an earthquake shake table, temporarily, installed in the remote township of Parkfield, Central California. This time-sharing performance system, experimentally merged together the micro-seismic resonance of geological time, via algorithmic computer control of a machine weighing 8,000 pounds. This real-time, science non-fictional, autonomously controlled seismic machine earthwork was immersed within an active seismic landscape. The 10-mile radius surrounding Parkfield is the most densely monitored and studied seismic region in the world. During the mid-1980s, geophysicists and seismologists began the Parkfield earthquake experiment. The intention was to capture data from a magnitude 6 earthquake as close as possible to the epicenter. On September 28, 2004, the predicted magnitude 6 earthquake occurred. The Parkfield Interventional Earthquake Fieldwork was triggered by all seismic events from magnitude 0.1 and above. The conceptual premise behind the work was to bring all Californian seismic events to a hypothetical epicenter, and to the surface of the Earth. Each time a seismic event was detected by the U.S. Geological Survey Network, the earthquake shake table would supply full hydraulic delivery, and mechanically reflect the seismic event recorded. Magnitude determined duration and the output of the shake table was controlled by software algorithms. The larger the seismic rupture, the longer the shake table would artificially reflect these natural geological events. Real-time occurring earthquake waves were disseminated via a quake data distribution system, direct from field sources totaling almost 700 remote, digital seismographs, triggering the machine 30 seconds to 3 minutes after actual seismic events occurred. Visitors to Parkfield also engaged interactively with the installation. Surrounding the earthquake shake table and buried within the excavation at north, south, east and west coordinate points, an array of vertical motion sensors enabled local interactivity with the intervention. These geophone sensors would detect people walking over and around the installation. Like human-induced earthquakes, the more pressure applied when jumping on a sensor the longer the shake table would function. The effect was like watching mechanical waves propagate away from you, much like throwing stones in a still lake. The shake table was installed facing a northwest direction which represented the direction in which the Pacific Plate creeps almost two inches per year along the North American Plate. When the installation was not triggered by real-time reported seismic events or interactively engaged with by visitors to the site, the shake table would mechanically displace horizontally one and a half inches northwest every 15 seconds. This control feature represented the geologically dynamic landscape in which we inhabit is always on the move, and never static. Between 9.30 p.m. and 6.30 a.m. every night the Parkfield Interventional Earthquake Fieldwork would sleep. The control system would collect and store seismic events that occurred overnight, and replay them at dawn with the sun rising from the east. Following this dawn seismic replay sequence, the installation would switch back to life control mode. This cycle continued for 91 days. In the scales of time and the temporal length of events, this machine intervention was a microscopic blip on the radar of geological time. By its very nature, 
The activities and premise behind the Park Field Interventional Earthquake Field work was to create a representation of the now early 21st century age, and the imminent collision of human, machine interactions occurring within our now digitally mapped, and networked, geophysical world. You have been watching 25,000. 782 JPEG frames that were streamed live across the internet during the 91 days of the Parkfield Interventional Earthquake Fieldwork, which took place in the year 2008.